before you even worry about any kind of recomp and doing everything at the same time, you need to really cut down on some garbage that you might be eating. Oh, oh, oh. Lena, there we go. Hi. Hi, Lena. Hello. Hi, Jenny. Lieutenant Dan. Hi, I am following the 90 day dash and I am in week nine. I think I have become more flexible in my body and have better mobility, even though I can sometimes still feel stiff in the lumbar spine. Don't worry, we always do. You might feel tight from one day to the next. That's what she said. I slowly try to reduce my subcutaneous fat, but feel that my body gets stressed if I cut down on the food too much. Trying to listen to the body and eat more then. What do you do if you want to reduce fat slowly, but still build muscle? Um, you're really not going to do that. There's a, there way, there's way too much shit about, oh, recomposition. I'm just going to lose fat and build muscle. You should be eating around your maintenance. You should be upping your protein intake, making sure you're getting plenty of healthy fats. Start there and continue with your training. You're going to have to be very close, very close to around your maintenance, but it's really going to come down to first Lena before you even warn, worry. Seriously, before you even worry about any kind of recomp and doing everything at the same time, you need to really cut down on some garbage that you might be eating. If you're not eating, I mean, cutting down the food too much, I want to know a little bit more. Drop in the, in the swole fam, post again what you're eating, what you're consuming, because certain dietary habits could be helping you a lot more and maybe decrease some body fat just because of bloating or water retention. So I would recommend doing that first if you haven't already. And don't worry about being stiff from day to day. Sometimes you'll feel more stiff than others. Could be a hydration, could be weather, could be pressure, could be just because you're sore from exercising. Um, if you're cutting down on food too much and you're doing too few calories, that's understandable, but it's also going to compound if you're not getting enough nutrients. So it's not just about the caloric number. It's also about what nutrients you're getting because you're going to feel fatigued and that can be, your body can be stressed. You can have a deficit and feel a hundred and feel fantastic because you're getting in your nutrients. If you're not getting in your nutrients, for, if you're not eating quality foods or the best foods for you, and you're also doing a caloric deficit too much, you're going to feel real shitty because you're not getting your nutrients and you're not getting enough ener raw energy period. All right. So if you haven't eat nose to tail, Hey, I'm still more often than not, the more, if you're doing an elimination diet and you really want to do it the best way, go, go close to a carnivore. That's going to be the, the biggest clean sweep, but you have to make sure you're doing it right. You have to make sure you're eating all your nutrients. You have to make sure you're getting animal fats. You can't be just eating lean grain fed beef. Um, you can take some organ supplements, but if you really, like, like, that's like just the most, the most hardcore elimination diet is a carnivore diet. So you don't have to take it that far right off the bat, but the more you're cutting out all the grains, gluten, cutting out processed sugar, cutting out dairy, in other words, when you do an elimination diet, for those that aren't a part of Swolnormous X, when you are doing an elimination, you're just cutting out a lot of things so you can test each variable. So when people think of elimination diet, if they don't know what it is, they think, oh, I'm cutting that out forever. No, you're cutting out for a reason because you're going to test these foods one at a time and then experience how you feel on them. And then you're going to see, holy shit, I have crazy migraines when I have dairy. Oh man, when I have gluten, I feel bloated, like my stomach pop it explodes or I'm on the toilet all day. And that's because if you eliminate these foods, your body essentially resensitizes to those foods and you repair a little bit in the six to eight weeks that you're doing the elimination diet. And then once you introduce one of those foods back in during the testing phase, as, as it's all, it's all broken down inside Solnormous X, when you reintroduce those foods one at a time, you actually see what those foods are doing to you. And then if you want to eat grains and fuck your body up and you know, it's going to fuck your body up, that's just a shitty decision, but you have to live with that. So it gives you the power and it gives you the education and the responsibility and the power to customize your own nutrition. So that's what, that's what uh, I would recommend. So you could drop that. You could drop your comments down below, fam. Your thoughts on that. Skeletons on closets and making new deposits. I'm in my element. No Ollie's, you children popping.